I almost forgot my bottle today again. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Happy December 1st! Yeah! Just parked at work. I came a little early today, but my lip stain of choice is this Romand Peeling Ingdu number 24. It's another item I carry in my car in the instances if I were to forget applying something on my lips. And I personally really liked glassy lips more than like matte. I feel like the matte dry out my lips super fast. And I'm like the type of person that has to have lip balm on my lips like at all times. Today is Friday, so I feel like there'll be a couple more people throughout the morning. What was the other one? Tangerine, maybe something with vitamin C would be good for you probably. Ginger? Okay. A lot of people get the sweet tea version, so we could always do light sweetener for you if you would like that too. Will that be all? Yeah, yeah. Can I get a name for the order? Do you like like rosemary on top of like mashed potatoes? It's so good. I don't really care what herbs are in my food. If it's fragrant, okay. It is what it is. Hi, welcome in. Hello. Hey guys, it's 9.04 a.m. I have to go to yoga soon, but I woke up at 7 to try to finish this video that I'm trying to post for today's vlog. It's my what I eat in a week at home from last week. So yeah, I am trying to get this ready, but I have to add the music, so that will have to wait for the later in the days. Peeling off my pimple stickers as we speak. I have a long day ahead. I have my mentorship for yoga. And then I am going to a holiday party with Yuri. I'm going to her works holiday party. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna make the most out of it with her. I am crunching with time right now. I'm a little stressed, I'm not gonna lie, because there's a couple of other things on my plate that I have to do. I haven't gotten the chance to, so I feel a little behind. Like Vlogmas is testing me and it always tests like every creator to figure out how to juggle like the producing of the content and editing and uploading it within a certain time window of the 24 hour window. But I also know like if I can't get this up right now, like it's not the end of the world. Ideally my plan was to get this up by this morning, but 
that's okay. And I will see you guys when I'm in the car. You know those days where you have like everything in your car because you don't know what to expect from the rest of the day or you also just know you have a long day? That's one of those days for me right now. As I said, I am going to yoga. Typically my Saturdays in the last 12 weeks, it's been fully booked along with my Sundays because I am in the middle of becoming a yoga teacher, which is pretty crazy to say on YouTube because that's like a huge update in my life right now. I don't think I've ever really like fully shared it vocally. Yeah, I'm in the middle of becoming an official yoga teacher. For 10 weeks, I was getting certified for the 200 hour training. After those 10 weeks, I have now been a part of this four week training program for mentorship. And it involves just not, not just my practice, but all the other people that are also trying to become a yoga teacher in the different classes that my studio is offering. So for me specifically, I am in the process of trying to become a power teacher, which is an intermediate vinyasa style class and practice. It's been a lot of fun, but all my weekends have been gone. So the training in itself was like a 10 to 6 p.m. thing every Saturday and Sunday. But then now for the mentorship, it's less, but still like I am going to be out basically the entire day. I'm doing a 10 a.m. class and then from 12.30 to 4.30 today, we have mentorship. So Saturday is kind of like half lecture and then half practice teaching. And then Sundays, it's actual teaching. So I teach a class, a, a community class with people. The training from earlier that I was mentioning was on Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on top of that, you had to take two additional yoga classes. So I was taking yoga five days a week. And then I also had the lectures in between that. But now, again, like I've been getting the hang of everything of just going to yoga as frequently as possible. It feels weird. Like I haven't done yoga in two days and my body already feels so like tense like it feels like I I need a stretch it's cool to know that I'm now like attuned with my body yoga has played such a big impact in my life mentally emotionally and physically so the days when I don't get to practice I can definitely notice different things within my body and also how I feel I think yoga has been such a important part of my day-to-day -day. it really is a lifestyle for me it's been there for me in really tough times and whenever i'm able to just ground myself within the practice and also just finding time to meditate during yoga and also after just taught me a lot of different things on what type of person that i want to be that's a little a little spiel on one of the greatest things that i've been able to invest my time in while i've also been on the lookout for a full-time job. I took on this opportunity because I also thought, if not now, then when? A lot of people that were in my cohort for the training also do have full-time jobs, so I have so much respect for them because they were able to juggle not just their nine to five, but also the entire training process, and it is very, very extensive. So I love my cohort, the people that I got to be with for the 10 plus weeks, and those that are now in mentorship with me. It really feels like we're family, so if there's a moment I can maybe vlog and show their faces in mentorship today, maybe I can. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I am. What's your name? Crystal. Park the car. My car be filled with just like every and anything I need for the day. I have like 20 minutes until I can repark. I brought my planner because I did not have time to uh, write in my agenda yesterday. The thing about me is I like to journal every day and just remember what it is I did. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I just journaled. And I also just went through my, uh, my sequence. 
the part I'm teaching is like roughly 15 minutes and I timed myself just now to make sure I had enough time before I have to repark the car because every two hours we get validated but because I'm here all day I have to repark the car every two hours or else I will be paying shmoney and I don't want to sh pay for the shmoneys I feel better about my sequence but I will say like my part of the class is teaching the beginning and because everything is an intro I have to teach like everything that we're doing so it's a bit more technical oh my god I had one minute left or else I could have been said god bless Time to move the car again! Oh yeah! Swing the legs behind you, find tabletop, or simply roll over your knees, tabletop pose. Tuck your toes down. Left knee, right tricep, falling star. Stick your foot out, both heels down, right arm up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, flip your dog or walk. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, single leg pigeon. Left knee slides to the left wrist, turn your foot to the right, point your right toe and walk your hands back with the chest, breathe in. Exhale, mouth, chest, breathe out. You're here for some fashion with Nasa and a forward fold. Take your legs straight up to the sky. Option to stay right with the knee reaching. And keep behind the crown of your head. Center up the mask and give yourself a gentle hug. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, bring it on up. But I was just thinking in the three-legged dog we could do a little ankle sure, stretching. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we're back for the third time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sequencing's really fun though. I'm learning a lot. I'm gonna rock from side to side with your right mic feel that. Up your chest, slide fingers to your left, bring your right shoulder down over your knees. Walk your hands towards the front edge of your mat and extend your arms out. Option to keep your right hand here, slide it forward. Chest, broaden the shoulder blades wide. Keep everything the same, just dip the chest down, hug the shoulder blades back together. Protract through the arms. Keep your head at shoulder height. Keep your navel nice and tight. Keep your spine long, just push up. To downward facing dog. You're going to teach them downward facing dog. Put on your heels or back on your block again. Grab your imaginary strap. The palm bend the elbow, keep your hands in the low back, grab the strap. Um, side. Inhale back. Exhale opposite side. Downward facing dog. Inhale, three legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Back heel down, inhale, warrior one. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So I would say you could probably stand to cut out the vinyasa between the sides. I just got out. It's like 4.45 and we are now headed to Yuri's. Sequencing is basically like building up a one hour class that we would be teaching basically brainstorming different poses to get you from point a to point b to the very end of the class kind of like a puzzle kind of feels like you're solving a formula each pose that you're implementing to get you to the very end is really important because you want to make sure that everything is layered and it makes sense so yeah it was really fun and our mentor for today ray is such a great teacher so i really really liked today's class the day went by really fast actually so I'm excited, I'm in your new house. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. How was mentorship? It was fine. It was actually really fun. Sequencing. Sequencing. Well, I haven't seen you in so long. I know. How long has it been? Like two, three weeks? <laughs> Long enough, long enough. <laughs> okay guys, so I have now made it to Yuri's. Check it out, look at my fit today. This is like basically the equivalence of what I would be wearing to this Christmas party that Yuri actually informed me, apparently, that it's actually very formal. And check out what I was gonna wear today. I was like, Hi. oh my God, holiday party. Like, I have this sweater. Like, why not? And just like stick it with some cute white pants. Yeah, there's two types of there's, There's two, two types. types of girlies that come out to a holiday cocktail party that I was not aware of. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we think? What do we think? I brought my black Converse high tops to wear, but in reality, today's dress code was wearing nothing but heels. It'll be okay! Okay! It's December. It's December, you know, like...
like, no worries. We have options. I'm so glad that I can now hopefully... No, you will, you will. ...figure something out with you. No, we will. And I have a coat, too. Okay, great. So he can borrow that. That's so cool. Um, So I'm actually just going to go like this today. Might as well at that point, right? <laughs> And she needs to make a good first impression because this is her new, job. like, this is her first job. I've never met my bosses in real life. Never? Yeah. Wait, what? Today I thought you or at the other location. Oh, that's right. Wait, when are, are you ever going to meet them? Or you're meeting <laughs> <Not> them? <laughs> right. So I'm going to shower. And we're going to figure something out. No, it's going to be okay. Go shower. Okay. You're going to leave okay. in an hour. Bye, guys. Okay, we're off. Head to toe. Holiday parties, ugly Christmas sweater, <laughs> ugly sweater Christmas party. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I have no idea. So we have arrived. Oh, oh. Downtown LA. Okay, we're in a downtown LA elevator. Oh, wait, I don't have a... Oh. Oh, wait, I can't go. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay. A holiday party for my work, and one of the girls was like, wait, me too. Me, me too. And I was like, wait, I'm... Ah, we made it. We made it. You look so big, girl. We're 20... We're 2025. 20, 20, Guys, what should we do for our birthday We're having a collab birthday party, so if you guys have any suggestions. Oh, not wrong way. Wrong side. Street smart. I hope one of us wins a raffle. Me too. That'd be really exciting. <laughs> There's two types of girls. <laughs> Today. 